Right, okay, it's 2.15 on Wednesday, the 22nd of February. The Viola Mart wheel has come, so let's unbox it and see what we've got. First of all, it's a front wheel. It's a front wheel, that. Um, didn't know I'd ordered a front wheel. Let's have a look. Don't look like it's Violamar either. Strange. I'll have to check that on eBay. Check out them wires there. Going into my motor, they're not very good. Don't chew that. Leave it. So, yeah. Unprotected wires. They don't seem split or anything. But this cable ain't my best. Hi, I'm Paul. So it's Wednesday the 22nd of February 2023. And it's 4.29pm. Behind me, you can see... A mullet e-bike. Now, I ordered a Violomart, well, what I thought was a Violomart wheel. And, yeah, been ripped off on eBay again. So, I'll quickly show you my bike. So, what I thought was a 1,000-watt Violomart rear wheel. I actually got sent a front wheel. It's not Violomart. And it don't work. The wires was bodged up. I've had to do these connections and run loads of tests. It's took me about an hour testing it, yeah? And I can't get it to work. The SW900 display is showing error 7, and that's a motor error. So, yeah, um, so big disappointment. Rips off again. Keep on getting rips off on eBay. And, yeah, I'm sick of it now. I'm not going to buy any more stuff. I should have learnt from my mistake buying the E100 Eagles e-scooter that didn't work and broke. And it took me 11 months to get my refund. So, yeah, got a faulty wheel. I'm going to get onto eBay. I want a refund. I won't be returning it. And, yeah, bag of shit. Um, so... We've got the mullet bike, and yeah, I've took the rear 250 watt wheel off. It looks like I'm going to have to put that back on. But I've got a 24 inch front wheel, where it's disc, so I might try and fit that. I don't know. Um, it <coughs> off, but yeah, I still want to get it sorted, because I've stripped it now, so I can't leave it like this. Right, it's now 5 o'clock, so the 24 inch wheel fitted with a 180mm snail dish rotor. So I need a tyre and an inner tube, but got the 20 inch rear wheel fitted. Takes a bit of prising, a bit of forcing and adjusting, but I put this Jubilee clip round here and it pulls the two bars close in together. And that's how I get a 20 inch wheel to fit on a 27.5 frame. So it's all working, I've tested it, so just got to order a tyre. So I'm not using eBay, I'm going to find a tyre online, probably Chain Reaction, they're quite cheap. And yeah, so I'm going to go and get a brew now. Flo needs some attention, she's been pestering, and yeah, she needs a walk. Right, I forgot what time I started at, but it's 7.27 now, so the back wheel's fitted. All the cables are tied on with cable ties. The foot pegs are fitted. The controller's sorted. The batteries fitted on properly. Forks are all fitted properly. It's got the 24 inch wheel with the 180mm snail rotor. And you can't see very well, it's quite dark in here. But the disc brake now, it's a Tetro. And I've got it fitted properly to these Manitou forks and I've had a problem getting them fitted. So they're fitted properly now. So next to do is look at this parallelogram, parallelogram <laughs> seat post and see how it works and get the seat fitted to it. So it's all working anyway. So I looked up tyres on Chain Reaction and the 1699 and you've got to spend over £20 to get free delivery, or otherwise it's £2.99, and the ones on eBay, back to eBay again, 
But yeah, it's a decent shop. I think it's Hopkinson Cycles, and that's where they've got this seat pulse from, and it comes dead quick. So a genuine seller, and yeah, be fourteen ninety nine for I think this Swall Blackjack twenty four by two point one. I think they are. This little dog's just worn out. Right, okay. So been busy and finally got it sorted so i'll catch up when i sort the seat out and i'll show that and explain that okay right it's now 11 24 on thursday the 23rd of february 2023 so i've done a few more things on the mullet well it's still a mullet really because it's 24 on my front and 20 on my back. What are you doing, Flo? I've fitted the seat to the parallelo <laughs> parallelogram suspension seat post. So, don't know if you can see. It compresses down. Can't get my weight on it there, but yeah, you can see it moving slightly. But yeah, that's that fitted. So, I didn't say before, this wheel is 20 inch. 24 volt 250 watt but the last time i used it i ran it at 48 volt and 528 watts so some of these 250 watt wheels you can get a load of wattage out of them and yeah you can run them at a thousand watts some of them so i'm going to see if i can run it at a thousand watt when i ride it and i'll be careful keep checking make sure it doesn't overheat but yeah so, before I get the tyre, it should come on Saturday, they're saying. I'm going to run through some specs of the bike itself. And, yeah, they'll pop up as text now and a bit of background music. Right, okay, so there are the specs of it. So, just waiting on my tyre now. Okay, it's 1pm on Monday the 27th of February. The Schwab Blackjack has come. So, I've got the inner tube. Getting fitted and show them next. What have you got? She's got the cardboard off her tyre. Move your bum away from me. Go on, move. Move your bum away. Go on, move. You naughty little girl. Oh, maybe I'll bum away. She pinches things and then shoves a bum at me, so I chase her. She's nasty. So, five minutes later, fitted the Swalb Blackjack 24 by 2.1, I think it is. Tire. Maybe I'll bum away. Pain. So it's finished and I'm ready for a test ride. Let's test that along there. Go for a quick spin in Borsha cloth. Takes you along to the lake. the lake but I'm not stopping it's freezing quick spin round here head back home it's only a test ride it is a build video after all
got to shoot along there, but there's people walking along there, and we're only a third of the way. Like I said back, it was only a test. Stop and see how warm the motor is. Not even warm. That's running at a thousand watts. Forty-eight volts. See what it's like on Dixon Street, and that's on Clough Park. Right, I wondered why the foot pegs felt funny. They've nearly bent off that side. I'm on that side, so I'm gonna head home and let's do Dixon Street. So this is the end of the video. Consider subscribing, hit the bell for future future updates. You've been watching me, Paul, building a mullet version 2 e-bike. Just move back, <laughs> everything's going wrong, we can go wrong. Right, okay, cheers, bye. Hey, hey.